What's up YouTube? It's your Queen Nala and I'm back with another video and if you are new here, welcome to the Royal Kingdom. Shall we proceed? So today is going to be something a little bit different because this time I'm not doing it on my hair. I'm going to be doing it on a mannequin's head. So today's video, I am going to be doing the 70s TikTok hair trend. And that's been going all around my For You page because I've just downloaded TikTok. And, like, I think it's a pretty cool app. And if you don't have it, please download it. I think that it's way much fun than, like, probably any other um, social media platform. And, yeah, I just think that you should just download it and it will be pretty much fun. So anyways, I'm just going to be doing this because, you know, it's been all around TikTok and people just have been doing it. And I thought that it was pretty cute. So I was like, you know what? Why not just hop on the trend? Why not just do this and like create a video? But here's the thing. I'm just going to be trying it. I'm not going to be actually, you know, teaching you how to do it because this is like my first time doing this. So I can't say no correct things about it or incorrect things about it because, like, I've never tried this before. I'm not going to make this intro too long, but I'm going to just say, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with this, I'm just going to be spraying some water on these two <laughs> strands of hair big strands of hair because i've been practicing like braiding and stuff like that on those two strands on those very two strands of hair i haven't been practicing on the whole head but i might be doing that so i wouldn't say like this hair is like too dirty probably just those parts so i just um put some water on it and you know continue on with my day and then i just brushed out all the other stuff from it all the excess gel and you know other stuff other products that's been on the hair just to make it you know a little bit more cleaner a little bit more fresh okay so next thing i did was i faced the um the vertical head this way like towards the camera because i was gonna part it in the front before like i get got into everything else so i just parted it a little bit i didn't part it too much because i'm going to be doing like these bangs in front of it so it's probably not going to be you know too parted it's probably going to be parted but like not too much as you can see right here i'm just parting it just to like style it a little bit that's basically what i'm doing um, just to get it where I want it to be, like how I want it to look. You don't have to do this process. If you want to, that's fine. I'm just trying to get even parts of the bang that I'm going to create for this hairstyle. And that's pretty much it. So now I just put both parts, I parted both parts to um, comb out the um, like different parts of the hair just so it won't have to be so tangled when I try to flat iron this, the hair. So it'll have to be too tangled and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I used a wide tooth comb just to let y'all know right here. So y'all don't have to be like all confused. Like you can use whatever comb that you need, but I would probably suggest a wide tooth comb. And of course I did the other side, just for the other side to not be tangled as well. Okay, so I'm back and I just cut the bangs 
from the mannequin head on the hair um so i didn't do the best of it but like i'm pretty sure that i didn't do too much but i know it's not you know the best so i just you know did what i had to do and that's how it came out looking so yeah i guess that's <laughs> how it came out i can't really say a whole lot but yeah okay so looking at the style it looks like it's a front part so it looks like most people did like a front part when they did the bangs so this is what i'm doing i'm just parting it in the front in the middle i keep saying front uh it's a middle part <laughs> and i just laid the hair down with a little bit of water it's not going to lay it fully down um i just laid it down just a little bit just to get the hair out of the way um because this hair is like already straight so it's not really i don't really don't have to do a whole lot to it so it's not too much it's not too much you know thickness it's enough thickness but it's not too you know it's not all over the place basically that's what i'm trying to say okay so this is where i'm about to start oh my gosh are you ready for this because i'm not so <laughs> so i'm going to get the cantu what is it called the cantu grow strong strengthening treatment this is usually for fragile hair or basically um it keeps the hair from heat damage and you know i'm going to be flat ironing this hair i mean i know it's not you know real and not a real person but i'm i'm just you know like treating it like a real person of how i would usually do it like in a hair salon i'm so sorry um so i'm usually i'm just gonna put it on the hair um this is actually human hair so like if i put the cantu on the hair it's not gonna have so much of, re of a reaction sorry when i flat iron it basically like if it burns up or if it um gets too uh, dry so for starters i'm just going to start in the back i usually start in the back with every hairstyle that i do so it's not like it's nothing new but um so i usually just start in the back so i'm pinning it up because usually when i part when i part it most hair from like the top gets in the way so like, this is how i usually do it when i part like when i'm trying to part so i usually pin it up or like i put it in a loose ponytail or like a loose bun and when it's loose i'll be able to pull the hair out the way i want to and then pull and then pin the rest of the hair back up with the rest of the hair So right here, I have a ceramic flat iron. Um, for my suggestions for a flat iron, I would probably say go for a titanium or a ceramic flat iron. Those are probably like the best that you can find to flat iron your hair and get a good sleek look for your um, for your hair. Um, the highest that I put the flat iron on is 450. I know you probably can't see it so clearly, but that is what it said. That is the highest that the flat iron could go. I also put olive oil sheen on the top of the scalp to the hair um i put a little bit on it just for the curls to have like a very sleek look and for the curls to hold don't put too much on there because it can harden very easily once you put the flat iron onto the hair um i know i put too much right here but that was my mistake don't do that 
Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I straightened it at first, flat ironed it straight first before I try to get into the curls. Um, just to have it really sleek a little bit. Then afterwards, I go in for the curl. So this is how I did it. I kind of took the flat iron and I flipped it away from the head. And I just curled it from there. And I just kept going down until I reached the end. Um, make sure all the hair is in the flat iron template so you can get the curl. And look at that. It's probably not the best, but I'll do it over. And this is how I'm going to do the next one. So I'm going to do that again. I just pour some um, olive oil sheen on there. And I did the same method to the other part of the um, of the hair. And this is how the um, style is supposed to be. I looked it up. I looked it up. I swear I did. And for some reason, well, I can't tell you a whole lot. You're just going to have to wait until the end. Um, so I just curled it away from the hair. I mean, away from the head. Because that's how I looked at somebody else's and that's how they did it. So... I'm just following their rules, you know, just trying to get a nice look here. So, yeah. Yeah, I put a little bit too much, and that's how you know that I messed up, but it's okay. Just don't put a whole lot of olive oil sheen on there. So this is how I'm going to do the rest of the hair in the back, and I'm just going to do a little short clip of that Okay, so now I am at the front of the head. Um, I've just finished the back. So now I'm just going to be doing the same thing in the front. The same thing that I did in the back. And I will do a short clip of that. Okay, so in the very front where the bangs are, um, I just do the same thing. I just flip it away from the head. Just flip the flat iron away from it. So I'm flat ironing it. I'm doing the same thing that I did to every um, strand of hair on the head there. And I just flipped it away from the head just to get that um, bumpy bump ends look. <laughs> Okay, so now the curls are all finished. Um, it kind of looks a little bit, you know, yucky right now. But I'm hoping that this brushing out the curls will do. Um, I think this is a wet comb. I think it's like for detangling and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just hoping that these curls come out good. So... I'm just going to brush it out and then come back later. Okay, so now the brushing is all done. Now it's time to flip. 
So right here, I'm just going to flip it back and forth just to get that um, puffy uh, 70s look. And that will be all.